and three. My name is Christian, and I'm first. And I was born in um, East Los Angeles College. Sorry, let me do that. Yeah, again. but you started over. It's All okay. right, just relax. Just speaking to me, just talk to me. All right. Um, my name is Christian, and I'm first. And I was born in East Los Angeles. Um, I grew up there for the first um, 18 years of my life. Um, my family is, um, they're both immigrants from Mexico and a lot of the struggle that um, we had to overcome was um, the fear of them being deported when we went on trips. Um, there was always like that fear of losing them um, whenever we went to like hiking trips um, or even to the market. Um, But um, they were very supportive in like me and my um, um, endeavors. They really pushed for education as a way to like get out um, and empower myself. Um, and so, I after going to community college, I was able to get accepted to UC Berkeley, um, and it was there that I met up with like other. Um, people who were like-minded with similar backgrounds and um, we decided to start a program to provide um, youth empowerment centers in Mexico. Um, the program is called Adelante and it's being highlighted here in um, Clinton Global Initiative. Um, what that is is um, to bring UC Berkeley uh, Mexican-American um, mentors either undergraduate or graduate, um, back to uh, Mexico so that they can empower um, um, low-income Mexican students and really push them to go to college and even like finish high school so that they can empower their communities and themselves at the same time. How did it feel to make it to Berkeley? Um, I thought they had made a mistake, really. Um, I had been shot down from like a few Cal States and then I was waiting on Berkeley. That was like my uh, num number one pick. Um, so when I got rejected from like a few Cal States, I was thinking that there was no way that uh, Berkeley was gonna accept me. So when I like, I think it was like 1 p.m. I remember like reading the email, you got accepted. Um, click here to submit your um, deposit. And in my head, I was like, thinking this is a mistake, they can't take me after, like I've been rejected from Cal States. Um, so right away I submitted my 500 deposit. Um, and from there it was just like super empowering. How was your transition? Um, it was rocky, to be honest. Um, I didn't really like feel, I felt like it was a privilege to be there. I didn't. Um, I didn't, I guess like the other students felt it more as a, um, as a right to be there and for me like it was a privilege so there was like, um, I didn't really feel confident like asking questions in class, I didn't really feel confident uh, reaching to like um, professors for help, I didn't um, feel confident like telling other people that I was struggling in classes because um, being in UC Berkeley, being like a um, uh, like really prestigious university, I felt that everybody was going to be looking down on me if I told them that I was struggling in math, which is like my major. Um, so it was hard to like reach out, but I did and it turns out that everybody else, or not everybody else, but like there are like other people who were struggling. Um, and I was able to like build a community and that community was like my team now. Any last words of wisdom? Um, I would say don't give up. It's gonna be rocky, but um, you will find like sources of support. There are people out there just like you um, um, and they wanna help. They want to make sure that you succeed. So you can go to college or something? So you can go to college. Or is anything you like, like you can do it too, or like don't give up, or something like that. 
um, yeah, just don't give up. You, I'm, you can do it, I did it, um, and I struggled all the way through, you can do it too.